Today I'm going to be taking a look at this fragrant journey to the Middle East. This is the One Royal Night and it's an exclusive addition to the one lineup from the house of Dolce & Gabbana. To find out my thoughts on this one, stay tuned to Mags Frags. Yes, hello again everybody and welcome to another episode of Mags Frags. I'm Paul and this is day 21 of my Fragrance 365 project where I talk about a different fragrance every day for a whole year. Today I was expecting to bring you a first look at a really exciting brand new release, but unfortunately it hasn't arrived. Uh, but as soon as it lands, I will create a first impressions video on it. So this one was first launched back in 2015 and it was initially only available in the Middle East uh, but then Harrod started to sell it uh, exclusively. But more recently it's began to show up in some department stores like John Lewis and Debenhams. This one's described as an oriental woody fragrance that explores the multifaceted world of spices whilst bringing the richness of amber to create a scent that's both mysterious and sophisticated. The top notes in this one are cardamom and basil. In the mid we've got pear wood and nutmeg and in the base we've got sandalwood, cedar, amber and labdanum. This opens up with spicy notes of cardamom and fresh basil uh, and this is supported by wild pear and nutmeg. I also pick up on uh, a leathery note but there's no leather uh, listed in the official note breakdown on this one. But right off the bat, I can instantly recognize the unmistakable signature scent character of the original The One and this one, The One EDP. Uh, in the base, we've got that familiar soft, spicy richness coming from the amber, the cedar and sandalwood alongside the refined Cistus Labdanum Accord. This is a warm and comforting scent that has a real rich and intoxicating character. And I would say that it's just a touch less sweet than the EDP version. Uh, and the spices have uh, been amped up a little bit on this one. If you own the EDP, I don't think there's a huge difference between the two in terms of overall smell. Yet it comes in this very attractive dark brown bottle with gold detailing. The Arabic writing on the front, I've had it on good authority, it does say Royal Knight. Uh, and then underneath, right at the bottom, we've got the Dolce & Gabbana logo, uh, the, the name of the, the flanker, the one. And then slightly above in a smaller text, it says Exclusive Edition just above it. Now, if you're interested in purchasing this one or trying it out, just make sure you don't do what I did and confuse it with the one mysterious night. That one comes in a red bottle uh, and it doesn't smell anything like this one. It goes off in a completely different direction. So just be careful on that one. The cap is plastic, but there's something inside it that gives it a little bit of weightiness uh, and it makes it feel like it's metal, uh, but it is actually a, a plastic cap. But it does feel really quality and premium. Uh, this, this is a, a whopping 150 mil bottle size and it's very heavy and it feels like a brick. And comparing it side by side uh, with this 50 mil that I've got of the EDP, you can see just how huge this is compared. The box um, on this is really nice. It's got a lovely soft feel to it. Like all the Dolce & Gabbana boxes, they come with this like uh, velvety type uh, texture on the front. Uh, it is very nice and high quality. You've still got the gold uh, text on the front and then you've got the barcodes and batch card on the bottom and then all your ingredient info on the back as always. So yeah, the box is really, really lovely feel. You've got to feel this, feels very nice. Um, the atomizer, it's got a gold atomizer and the distribution is really nice. Beautiful. So yeah, the, uh, the presentation on this and the Mysterious Night, the Mysterious got this really dark red finish to it, uh, the really nice quality, and it looks fantastic when it's sat with the others in the collection. <laughs> 
I'd say this is best suited to the cooler months of autumn or early spring and it's ideal for evening dressed up events. It's not a clubbing fragrance, it's very smooth and refined uh, and it would be more suited to put on maybe with a suit for, a, for a, like a formal occasion. Like I said earlier, it's, it smells very seductive and it's comforting, uh, but it's also quite mature, so I'd say it would be best suited to maybe the over 25s. If you're younger than 25, I would probably recommend the EDP version, simply because it's just a touch more sweet and playful. The thing that you tend to hear a lot about in the fragrance community is the performance of this line. I think that the EDP version is a slight improvement on the original and I think this one is a slight improvement on the EDP. Uh, this is for the people that love the EDP, love the smell of it but just wish that it would project a little bit more and lasted a bit longer. This is not a powerhouse by any means, uh, but it is gonna get you through the whole evening without having to reapply it, which is not something I could say about the others. The scent DNA of Dolce & Gabbana's The One, and I mean the whole range, is stunning. And I believe that it belongs somewhere in every single man's collection. Would I recommend this as a blind buy? Damn right I would. It's a no-brainer for me, and it would be in my top 10 fragrances for life all day long. It's not an everyday fragrance, so you may not need a monster 150ml bottle like this one, but get yourself a nice 50ml and keep it next to your suit for special occasions, and I promise it won't let you down. So the one Royal Knight from Dolce & Gabbana gets a smooth 9 out of 10 from me. So once again, that's about it for today's scent of the day. Uh, tomorrow, I'll be waiting very patiently at the front door for the postman to arrive to hopefully bring you a first look at a new and exciting fragrance. Uh, so don't forget to tune in for that one. But if not, I've got uh, loads of other great scents to talk about until it arrives. If you're new to the channel and you like this video, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe uh, to the Fragrance 365 Daily Chat. Uh, it would also be great to hear your thoughts on any of the fragrances that I've covered in other videos as well as this one. So don't forget to leave your comments down in the comments section. Uh, there's also a few people that have uh, purchased samples from my eBay fragrance shop. So thank you very much for your custom and your support. So that's about it. Until next time, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Keep smelling fresh. Bye bye for now.